Here at Nature's Generator, we like to keep things simple. Reducing waste and harnessing nature is kind of our thing. For that reason, we decided to make the Nature's Generator serviceable. In this video, we'll be going over how to replace the battery and inverter on a Nature's Generator. You can also reference this video to replace the battery on a Nature's Generator power pot. Be sure to watch the entire video first, as some steps can be skipped if all you have to do is replace the battery. Let's get started. Let's start off with a list of tools that you're going to need. Go ahead and pause the video here and write everything down. Carefully lay the generator on its back. Before we proceed, we need to make note of the generator orientation. Looking at the base of the generator, you'll notice a notch in what is the rear of the base and no notch in the front. Keep this in mind moving forward, or simply stick a label or make a mark noting the front of the generator. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the 12 screws that secure the generator body to the base. Some of the screws have trouble coming out of the holes. If so, simply grab a magnet to fish them out and set them aside. Grab your 4mm Allen wrench and remove the 4 screws securing the generator lid to the chassis. Once all 4 screws have been removed, pull up on the lid and set it aside. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the 4 screws that secure the generator body to the chassis. Up top we're going to be working with the battery cables and a few ribbon cables for the control panel. Start off by disconnecting the 3 wire ribbon cable from the front control panel. Now before we start, it's important to note that you might hear the battery cables arc when they're being removed. This is normal, so don't panic. Grab your 10mm socket and just like on a car, always disconnect the negative battery cable first. After and only after the negative battery cable has been disconnected, proceed to disconnect the positive battery cable. Now that you've got both battery cables disconnected, go ahead and push them aside. Using a 4mm Allen wrench, remove the screws securing the rear panel to the generator. Once the screws are removed, remove the rear panel and set it aside. Using the same 4mm Allen wrench, remove the screws securing the battery to the chassis. Once both screws are removed, grab the rope and lift the battery out of the generator. But be a little careful, it's got some weight to it. Behind the front panel you'll find the power relay. Make note of the wires. The single red wire attaches to the upper pin on the relay, while the dual red wire attaches to the lower pin. The middle pin is unused. To disconnect the wires from the relay, press down on the locking tab on the connectors and disconnect both red wires from the relay. Next, disconnect the black wire as shown, then disconnect the brown wire and the blue wire from the front panel by pressing down on the locking tabs and detaching them from the front panel. Disconnect the 4-wire multicolor ribbon cable and the black 5-wire ribbon cable from the front panel. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws securing the AC plug to the front panel, then set the screws and the AC plug aside. Now that everything is disconnected, lift up on the front panel and set it aside. At this time, proceed to lift up and remove the generator housing and also set it aside. Using a pair of scissors, cut the zip ties securing the bundle of wires to the generator chassis. Disconnect the red and black inverter wires as shown, then proceed to disconnect the brown and blue wires as well. Note that the brown and blue wire are attached to the same connector. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the three screws securing the inverter to the generator chassis. There are two screws up front and one screw inboard. With all three inverter screws removed, go ahead and proceed to remove the inverter from the generator chassis. Simplicity and serviceability was the name of the game when designing this generator and it's something we really pride ourselves on. For replacement parts, visit our website or get in touch with us at naturesgenerator.com.